What's up guys, Ivar here at Ivar's Flavor Workshop. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, remember to like, share and subscribe and everything will go through, through that. But uh, in this particular video, I will be tying a fly called Herman or Hemmi, which is a fly which uh, I, well, typed two seasons ago. And my son actually cut his uh, largest trout on it in the way they went region up in the highlands last uh, summer. And he decided to name it Herman or Hemmi. After the spot he caught the fish on, which is called Herman's Week or the or the Bay of Herman. Metiskur. Ah, it's a metiskur here. Okay, I'm going to hear them. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Herman, that guy himself used to be a. Warden or a, or a guard or a fishing warden up in the for, for decades. So we'll give Hemmi or Herman a shot. We'll take a hook number either six or eight or even ten, a uh, classic streamer hook from Arex, and place it in our vise and get the thread ready. And uh, on the hammer fly, we are using bead dies. Uh, I'm using this hooks uh, NS118 Classic Streamer from Arex. And we are using a, um, a, a Semperfly Thread Classic Waxed 8O in the color of red. What the rest of the materials and the pattern you can find in the video's description down below, as, as always. Down there you can also find information about supporting the channel and uh, and uh, more, more, more info on the video. So, this lead dumbbell eyes I have, I got them at a guy named uh, Jón, he owns a small tackle store in Reykjavík. I go there to pick up some stuff like this from him because he has it on a really nice price, more or less. And, uh, and uh, you have to wrap the eyes on like seven or eight or up to ten times each side um, until they are like even or level. And here, when we are done with that, now we need to um, now we need to um, to secure the wraps from down below. So we are doing like um, this kind of wrap. So we are going with thread around and beneath the eyes, not under the hook shank. This is to tighten up all the wraps. And when we are doing that, uh, I would say I, I prefer to uh, to prefer like a rather strong thread. This thread is like kind of you can break this thread. Uh, maybe I should have used the nano silks from Semperfly for this one, but if you are tight but gentle, it's gonna work out. And to secure the wraps, I'm going to place a little bit of a sappy cap on just on the top of them and down below under the under the hook eyes. Just right on the top, top there and here on the uh, on the wraps down below. And with that sappy cap, those eyes are not going anywhere, I believe. Um, this fly, Hemmi or Herman. As mentioned before, this is uh, named after a place up in the a fishing spot up in Weyvel, in the uh, Highlands. And um, I would say this is a really simple streamer pattern. Imitate some sort of like a stickleback-ish fish or something. And we are using for the tail of it, I'm using a whole strung marabou in red. And as you saw 
what I did is to pinch away the some of the tippets. So it's about the body length of uh, uh, about the hook check length for the tail, and then we will wrap this securely back and always hold the uh, marabou feather once when we wrap them and it's going to be in its place something got sticky there with the glue and then we'll snip off the tag and or the existing material and then what comes next is uh, we do have um, some sparkling uh, decoration for the tail of the fly. Um, I'm using a silver flashable for that, like a silver hollow flashable, holographic flashable to get uh, get the tail as good as possible. I'm going to wrap this down first before we start to install the decoration for the tail and. Uh, they are from Semperfly 2. I'm using um, two strands. This is the Joachim's website where I bought the eyes. You can have a look at, the, look at it if you like. I do not think they ship internationally, but still, it's a cool little store. And uh, so I took one strand, bent it, and bent it in half, cut it in the middle. No, this is not going to work out. It's going to be easier for me to just place them on my side first. Or place a hook like halfway up like this and tighten them down. Keep the length of the flexible about the length of the um, tail. Then we take it over and lock it in with our thread like so. So it's um, about equal on each side. Then take a, I take a little bit of saliva on my finger just to um, wetten up the marabou so it's not fluffy or in your way when you're working uh, to install the uh, body material. So um, for the body of this fly, I am going to use dubbing process, but you can also use this, this uh, silvery, like a silver, silver straggle thread. You can use those dubbing process as well. And I'm going to use, I'm going to go for the process now because um, when this dubbing brush gets wet, it gets very lively, like get some action and motion in the water. And uh, when the fly is wet, it's totally looking different than from what it looks like when it's when it's dry or from or from land not used. So we take one brush out of the bag. I'm going to secure that down to the to the hook shank, and there will be some particles from the brush falling down all over the place. It's like a really nasty, as you see, it's just like snowing. <laughs> it's kind of like a nasty uh, thing to work with, uh, but it gives the fly an excellent effect. And it it is a fly that works up there and then in, in general when you're, when you're after a brown trout. So we take a few wraps. I'm going to bring my thread up just to the right behind the uh, hook eye. And then we take our thread, our, our brush, sorry, wrap that around. One more there. And then I'm going to show you. We'll take this brush here. We'll do that afterwards. So, um, Go around the eyes like this, 
like in an eight. So it covers the head of the fly. And then we have space for one extra wrap on the front. And I'm gonna take it with my hackle pliers here. And then we use the whole brush. And then we catch that with our thread. Lock that in place and take some tight tracks to secure it. Then what we need to do is to snip away the rest, the rest of the brush. Then we need to, yeah, cut away a little bit of this uh, extra fur um, or the extra stuff from the brush. You can, if you if you really want to use all those stuff, you can dump the stuff that fall, falls down. I do that in another video on the copper orange fly. That is kind of like a, yeah, it's not necessary if you, if you don't want it. Um, this, on the other hand, is necessary. That is to snip away and trim away. So we have kind of like a clean hook eye because um, now we are going to build up like a little hat on the fly just in front of the eyes and then you can snip away the longest maybe longest fibers but this material is going to change when it gets when it gets wet and underwater and uh, I'm come on, I'm gonna whip finish here, and this is not like the last part of the fly. I'm gonna whip finish just a couple of times, uh, make a knot, and I'm gonna bring in another color of a thread here to create like a hot spot. So I'm using like a fluor orange uh, 8.0 classic wax from Semperfly. It gives it, it's a, like a UV reflective thread and it gives the uh, fly pretty nice um, touch. Um, you can do it with either orange or even red, UV, UV thread. Um, green would be possible, like a share through the screen. Something, something like that. So I believe now we are almost finished with this um, with the Hemi fly I just shot some pictures of it last night in my uh, studio little photo studio which I have to I have to make a video on my setup because my setup is really simple and primitive kind of thing <laughs> and you're, you're going to like that I have to do like I yeah like my man's cave uh, tying <laughs> cave uh, video on that. Uh, actually, when this is recorded, I am down in sunny old Spain on a vacation, just for a couple of months, taking a break from everything, like a long, long vacation. And of course, I decided to bring my fly tying equipment with me. But I will be back in Iceland at the beginning of. Um, or the end of May for fishing mostly. So for the final touch of this um, of the Herman fly, I'm gonna place like a, this Solaris Bone Cure uh, resin on the on the head or on the hot spot of the fly, and then we are going to fry it with our UV light. Make sure if you blind the eye, to make sure to take it out of out of the hook eye. Uh, clear that before we sap the um, sap the resin. And here we'll sap the resin with our light. So I just want to say to you guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, for whom who had support the channel, great. Thanks to all of them. There are some guys who have been really nice with me. And remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video.